Greetings friends. In today's episode of Picks to Flicks, we're going to look at a way to attach your Osmo Pocket or any action camera to your chest to free up your hands and as importantly to dampen vibration. Hey, I'm pushing to get to 100 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, help me move this indicator into triple digits, would you? Come on, it doesn't cost you anything. A few months back, I reviewed several Polar Pro mounting solutions for the Osmo Pocket, including the Polar Pro strap mount. Check out the link above to go to this video. I show that a strap mount can go a long way towards eliminating jitters when riding on a wheeled vehicle, like a bicycle, scooter, or even a motorcycle. The Polar Pro mount requires the wearing of a backpack or something else with straps. But what if you don't want to wear a backpack just to use a strap mount, or if you don't often wear a backpack? That's where the PGY Tech chest strap can help. This product is made of a gray cloth and a large, very secure Velcro strap that goes across your chest and over one shoulder. It's substantially lighter than any backpack, but something worth noting is strapping on the PGY Tech chest strap is a lot more conspicuous than wearing a, a backpack. Many, many people wear backpacks in all walks of life. You wear this chest strap, and you'll be getting a lot of sideways glances from folks who normally wouldn't even look twice at you if you were wearing a backpack. Before we get any farther into the review, let's take a look at how well it works on board a wheeled vehicle. In my case, this is a scooter I used to get around downtown Chicago. I mounted one Osmo Pocket directly to the handlebars of the scooter and the other to my chest using the PGY Tech chest strap. You should get almost identical results if you use the handlebars of a bike or any other motorized vehicle. As you can see, mounting the Osmo Pocket to your body via the chest strap reduces the video jello and other jitters that result from a direct mount. By virtue of your body's mass and the natural dampening nature of this mass, it absorbs and adjusts to most of life's ups and downs. The video taken with the camera mounted directly to the handlebars is unusable. Now let's take a closer look at the PGY Tech chest strap's design and construction. The main component of the chest strap, beyond the strap itself, is a standard GoPro type mount located on the left of the wearer's chest. I like how it's offset from center as it somewhat frees up your hands. There are other chest mounts that put the camera directly over the center of your chest or down around your navel where it can get in the way. Looking at the photo on the box, it appears PGY Tech chose to mount the Osmo Pocket from somewhere near the bottom of the device. Let me tell you, this is not a good idea. You're going to want to mount your Osmo Pocket from a mounting location somewhere in the middle of the device. Mounting it from the bottom will cause it to rotate around when you move side to side or up and down, which brings up another one of the things I really don't like about the PGY Tech chest mount. The mounting tab m rotates freely, and there is no way to stop this from happening. I suppose PGY Tech thought having a freely rotating mount is a benefit, but I hate it. I can't ever seem to get my Osmo Pocket mounted securely enough. If you plan on being active while wearing the chest strap and plan on using your Osmo Pocket, mounting it from the bottom can cause all kinds of bad things to happen. The entire assembly rolls left and right in a most unpleasant way. Why would PGY Tech not give the user some way to lock down the rotation? I see the benefit allowing it to rotate when you want it to, but no advantage to allowing it to swing freely. You can mitigate this issue by using a mount that attaches to the Osmo Pocket closer to the middle. One such mount is the Polar Pro Action Mount I reviewed earlier. Another one is PGY Tech's own Dataport Cold Shoe. I like them both. In the case of the Dataport mount, 
It's much easier to use the DJI wireless adapter with the PGY Tech po uh, product. Why is this important? Well, with your Osmo Pocket mounted to your chest, you're going to struggle a little bit to frame your shot, not to mention change any of the settings. Connect to your Osmo Pocket wirelessly, and you'll be in better shape. Sure, you can still use the wireless adapter with the Polar Pro Action Mount, or even connect to the smartphone data connector with a cable and feed your smartphone that way. But that takes some finagling and a couple extra pieces of hardware. See my Polar Pro mount review linked to earlier for details on how to do this. One downside to using the PGY Tech data port mount is it spins the Osmo Pocket around, pointing the microphone directly at your chest. Probably not a big deal if you want to capture audio of yourself, but it could be an issue if you want to record audio of whatever you're videoing. Now we're going to talk about something that really bugs me about this product. PGY Tech has gone away from the standard of using a bolt and captive nut to hold GoPro and other action cameras to their mounts. They've selected a twist cam device with a flippy lever. Here's what I don't like. First of all, if you're like me, you probably have dozens of GoPro mounting bolts in your box of hardware, and all these are interchangeable. If you lose one, just dig in the box and grab another one. With PGY Tech's fancy lever cam fasteners they've chosen to use, if you lose both of the ones provided, your entire product is useless. Seriously, without these pins, you can no longer use the mount. I guess PGY Tech thought it was cooler or faster to have to, than having to screw in a bolt, but I gotta tell you, these things are finicky, and it can take you every bit as long to get them secured as it would a regular bolt. In addition, there's only one level of tightness. Once you flip the lever closed, that's as tight as it's going to get. But wait, there's more. Apparently not all GoPro mounts are the same width. Some are slightly smaller than others. With a bolt fastener, that's not an issue. You just tighten down the bolt tighter and tighter, and everything works fine. With the PGY Tech pins, if the mount is too small, it simply won't work again. PGY Tech seems to have recognized this, as they provide you a little adhesive plastic shim to stick on the smaller mounts, but even then, they only provide four shims. The adhesive isn't the best either, and I found the shim would fall off when removing the mounted device. And after this happens four times, once again, your chest strap is useless. I bought a box of clear plastic hole punch reinforcements, and these work pretty well. And they're cheap enough, but the fact that I had to go to a local office store to partially fix PGY Tech's bad design is just plain silly. This is absolutely horrible engineering. Why change a tried and true design like this when there are no benefits and only negatives? So after all this, what do I think? Well, I like the concept of the PGY Tech chest strap and appreciate the mount being off-center but the execution and design leave a lot to be desired. The inability to stop the thing from rotating and the special mounting hardware make this a hard pass for me. Maybe PGY Tech will fix these issues in the next generation of this product, and if that happens, I'll enthusiastically give it two thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, if you like this video, please smash the thumbs up below. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos on your YouTube timeline, please subscribe. Like I said earlier, I'm pushing for 100 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate you subscribing. If you want to be immediately notified when I release content, hit the bell icon. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Dennis, and this has been Picks to Flicks.